Astronomers using NASA's Hubble Space Telescope say they have crossed an important threshold in revealing a discrepancy between the two key techniques for measuring the universe's expansion rate. The recent study strengthens the case that new theories may be needed to explain the forces that have shaped the cosmos. A brief recap, the universe is getting bigger every second. The space between galaxies is stretching, like dough rising in the oven. But how fast is the universe expanding? As Hubble and other telescopes seek to answer this question, they have run into an intriguing difference between what scientists predict and what they observe. Hubble measurements suggest a faster expansion rate in the modern universe than expected, based on how the universe appeared more than 13 billion years ago. These measurements of the early universe come from the European Space Agency's Planck satellite. This discrepancy has been identified in scientific papers over the last several years, but it has been unclear whether differences in measurement techniques are to blame, or whether the difference could result from unlucky measurements. The Big Bang The Quran says that the heavens and the earth were joined together as one unit before we clove them asunder. Following this big explosion, Allah turned to the sky, and it had been, as, smoke. He said to it and to the earth, come together, willingly or unwillingly. They said, we come together, in willing obedience. Thus the elements and what was to become the planets and stars began to cool, come together, and form into shape, following the natural laws that Allah established in the universe. The Quran further states that Allah created the sun, the moon, and the planets, each with its own individual courses or orbits. It is he who created the night and the day, and the sun and the moon, all, the celestial bodies, swim along, each in its rounded course. Expansion of Universe The heavens, we have built them with power. And verily, we are expanding it. There has been some historical debate among Muslim scholars about the precise meaning of this verse, since knowledge of the universe's expansion was only recently discovered. The verses that mention six days use the Arabic word yum day. This word appears several other times in the Quran, each denoting a different measurement of time. In one case, the measure of a day is equated with 50,000 years, whereas another verse states that a day in the sight of your Lord is like 1,000 years of your reckoning. The word yum is thus understood, within the Quran, to be a long period of time an era or eon. Therefore, Muslims interpret the description of a six-day creation as six distinct periods or eons. The length of these periods is not precisely defined, nor are the specific developments that took place during each period. After completing the creation, the Quran describes that Allah settled himself upon the throne to oversee his work. A distinct point is made to counter the biblical idea of a day of rest. We created the heavens and the earth and all that is between them in six days, nor did any sense of weariness touch us. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have a request or have something to say, please leave a comment down below.